What's going on YouTube? All right, today I'm gonna to show you how I adjust my brakes. Um, first thing you wanna do is, if you have a trailer on, uh, you should be good, but you need to chalk your wheels so that the truck doesn't roll. And then you wanna release your parking brake for the truck, not the, the trailer, just the truck. Um, then you grab your 9 16th wrench and I'll show you how to do the front. All right, see this little, this nut right here that sticks out? That fits on there like that. Now these are already tight. Uh, yeah, they're already tight. What you do is you turn this until it tightens up a little bit and then you back it off about a quarter turn. And that's how you do them. Um, now that, that's for the front. Now you got two on the, in the front. And I'll show you how I do the back. Now when I'm laying on the ground, depends, when I'm laying on the ground, I'll grab a tarp, I, get, I carry a tarp with me. Because sometimes, you know, you get in the parking lot and it smells a little sweet, you know what I mean? All right, brakes are released, you know. Wheels should be chopped. All right, here's a slack adjuster. All right, that's the slack adjuster. There is the brake chamber. All right, let's see what we're looking at. All right. Now, I'll grab my flashlight here. Let's see if I can get some light up there. All right. I don't know if you can, if the camera will focus. There's a like a, a bolt sticking out right there. Right there, is, let me see if I can. There we go, you can see that? Nut sticking out right there. Now what you do is you tighten it down. So lefty loosey, righty tighty. So I'm going to go clockwise. And I need a slack adjuster on this one because it shouldn't move that much. Tighten it down. There we go. Let's get a little, a little tight. Man, that thing's way out of adjustment. There we go. Now we're tight. All right. Now, once it's tight, now <clears throat> you back it off a quarter turn, quarter to a half a turn. There. <clears throat> About like that. Do a little bit more. Without... <clears throat> That was good. So that's how you adjust your brakes. Um, technically, if your slack adjusters are working properly, you shouldn't have to come up under here and do that. But you know, sometimes it works, sometimes they don't. And these are a sixty-five, seventy-dollar part. You know, and then plus you got labor. If you take it to a shop, put it on. Now, while I'm under here, I'm looking at the brake pads and around the inside of the wheel to see if anything is leaking. That's just water right there. See if anything's leaking, see if I have a wheel seal leaking. As you can see, it is dry. I'm just looking around to see if anything is out of place because sometimes these, uh, where's it at? I need more hands. See that pin? Where's the pin at? There it is. See that pin right there? Sometimes those things come loose and, you know, they're missing and there's a ring up around there where the flashlight is. Sometimes they come off. Um, and then there's a grease fitting on here. So when you're greasing your truck. Um, so that is how you adjust your brakes. I got this other one over here. I'll do this one too. You'll see where this one is at. 
I don't have nowhere to set the flashlight. I don't know where my wrench went. Oh, there it is, over here. This stuff is live and uncut. All right. Uh, let's see. There's a nut right there. See, that one's tight. That one's good. Put that one back. Uh, that's the only one that I have a problem with is this one. So I got to get a, a slack adjuster put on this one. Um, so that is how you adjust your brakes. So I'll go through the steps again. Number one, build up air pressure in your tanks. Then you release your tractor brakes, you know, after your wheels are chopped. Make sure it's not going to roll back on you. And then you tighten that bolt down. If it will move, and if not, you know, it's, it's good. But if, it, if you keep turning it, turn it to its tight and then back it off about a quarter to a half a turn. So that's how you adjust your brakes. Hopefully that is a little, sheds a light on, on that for you. And technically you need a certification to adjust your brakes, but as you can see, ain't nobody out here. I'm good to go. Have a good one.